Today we're going to learn about how to customize MicroStation, in particular MicroStation V8i Select Series 2. What we're going to learn is going to be applicable to all versions of V8i. First thing we're going to talk about is where does MicroStation store the customization. Second is going to be how do I create a toolbox with my favorite tools. Next, a task. And then finally we're going to look at how to edit the context menu, my personal favorite. First of all, we're going to go to the File Open dialog box. When you start up MicroStation, this is what you see. In the bottom right corner, we have User, Project, and Interface. Your work environment, your company may have customized the workspace environment, so I can't speak to all the possible scenarios. This is kind of a generic install of MicroStation, so you may need to speak with your CAD manager about this. But for User, what I'm going to do is choose Untitled, Project, if it doesn't switch to no project automatically, I'm going to go ahead and select it. Down below is the interface option. By default, you have default. What I'm going to do is click on this button, and I get an option to create a new interface. When I do that, a little dialog box pops up, and it says create new interface. What do I want to call it? Well, I'm going to call this My Tools. You can give it a description if you want. I'm just going to click OK. And then I see under Interface here, My Tools. Now what happened in the background was MicroStation created a folder called My Tools, and in that folder it created a file called MyTools.DGNLIB. Now a DGNLIB file is a DGN library file. It's just an everyday garden variety MicroStation file. But MicroStation, we use that to store all kinds of information. And in this particular example, we're going to be looking how it can store customization. So once it's created this folder and this file, I'm going to need to find it. Now, in a modified workspace environment, this could be different. So you may have to ask your CAD administrator again where yours was created. In my situation, if I go to the Look In option and I come up here, I go to Workspace, I see a folder called Interfaces. I open that. I see a folder called MicroStation. I open that. And down below, there's default, as we saw before. That ships with the product. And there's the folder that I created, My Tools. If I open that, located in here, you see it says No Items. You're thinking, well, where did it go? Down below, we're telling it to look for files with an extension of DGN, DWG, or DXF. You need to change this to say, Show me DGN library files. And when I do that, there's my DGN library file. Again, when I'm the file open dialog box here, when I created the interface, the folder and the file were automatically generated. Now I'm going to open up this file. If I go up to the Workspace pull-down menu and I go to Configuration, if you need to figure out where your organization is storing this information, there's a variable that MicroStation uses to locate this. I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down here. This is the variable. It's called ms underscore gui dgn lib list. And in my example down here, again, I install MicroStation on my D drive. You can see there's a folder, and it was created called My Tools, and it's looking for anything in there with the dgn lib extension. So that's how I can figure out where the file is. So once I'm in the file that MicroStation is looking to for customization, now I can start my customizing. If I go to Workspace again, and I go to Customize, this will open up my Customize dialog box. Now if you've done customization in MicroStation before, in V8 2004 or earlier versions, the Customize dialog box looks significantly different. We have the same essential functionality. In the other dialog box, we had tabs across the top. In this case, the tabs were on the right. The tabs are different, but essentially very similar. So on the left-hand side where it says Tools, you can see User Tools. If I expand this, we see our file name right there, MyTools.DGNLib. And you'll notice the icon is blue. This means that MicroStation is configured to look to this file for customization. If it was gray, and I'll show you an example of what that is, see the gray icon here? If this icon up here was that same kind of grayish color, that would have meant that this is not configured, MicroStation is not configured to look here. So in this case, we're good. I'm going to select this. When I do, the toolbar activates up at the top. I can create a new toolbox. I could just create a straight up new tool. 
but I'm going to do a toolbox and I can also get to it by right clicking on my DGN lib file say new toolbox and we're going to call this fave tools you can give it any name you'd like to now I've got a toolbox now it's time to populate the toolbox with my favorite tools so if I expand applications or which I already did and I expand microstation what I'm going to see listed below are all the toolboxes that ship with microstation so you're going to need to find a toolbox that has the tools that you want so I'm just going to slide on down to let's say for example linear elements select that expands there's a couple of tools that are pretty popular there's play smart line and if I hold the control key down I can select additional tools once I've got the ones I want selected I right click on them I select copy I slide back up right click on fave tools and I paste now I've added those tools to it so it's this simple you can continue to add additional tools if you want if I went down to let's say for example my modify toolbox if I expand that there's some tools I like modify the only there's trim to element again holding the control key down uh, there's some tools right there and I right click I copy them I slide back up to the top right click on fave tools and paste now these are different types of tools so what I may want to do is insert a a separator so there's an option up here separator click on that and whatever tool you have selected it pops it in directly below it so if you do pop it into the wrong location you go gee well how do I get rid of it you can either delete it if you want to or you can just grab the tool or the separator and you can just move it and slide it in between so you can see you can adjust its location so it's pretty simple just to adjust the location of these tools in their position on the toolbox. Now that I've got my toolbox created called Fave Tools, how do I open this up? I can just right click on it from here and go to Open Toolbox. And there's my favorite tools and there's my separator. This can be docked on all four sides of the screen. I can resize it just as it stands here. You can see the separators taking effect. You can right click on it you can hide or show tools just like any other toolbox in MicroStation. So that's creating a toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. On the left hand side you have the task navigation. Now if you're using task navigation in your organization you can see that we ship MicroStation with some defaults. There's drawing and drawing composition. Your organization may have created some. You may want to create your own task that has your own special tools on it. How we do that is back to our customized dialog box. On the right side over here you'll see tasks you'll see user tasks I'll select that expand it there's my DG and lib again if I select this I get the option to create a new task I'll click on that looking for a name I'm gonna call this my tools again you can call it anything you want now it's not going to be displayed on the left hand side until we actually start to populate it so I can add in individual tools I could just drag a tool in drop it in and as soon as I do that you'll see it appears on my task navigation on the left there's the tool now you can drag entire toolboxes over I can take my entire toolbox drag it onto my tools there and it pops up and you can see if I display this as panel list there's my tools listed right there so you can create a task you can populate it with whatever tasks you want. If you're using tasks, that's a great way to do it. Now, my personal favorite is the context menu. Now, I'm not sure if any of you are using that yet, but when you have your cursor in the drawing area and you hold and press the right button in MicroStation, you get what's called the context menu. You have to hold and press it until it appears. Now, we've shipped MicroStation with some standard ones, for example, copy, move, scale, rotate, things like that. Um, we have level off. Again, if you haven't taken a look at this, I strongly encourage you to do this. This particular tool allows me to turn off a level by just clicking on an element and it knows the level it's on. It'll turn it off for me. You also have select all, select none to unselect elements, select previous, select the previous element you had selected, and you've got some other options like delete and element information. All right, now how do I edit that? Back to my customization dialog box. On the right hand side where we had tasks, I go down to task menus. Again, I see my DG and lib file. If I'm going to select this, I can now add tools to this. Now I can 
go back to my tools I can use the ones in MicroStation but if I go and select a tool I can just drag and drop it onto my context menu and I also have the option to edit it so if I move my cursor back into the drawing area if I right click you'll see place smart line is added so it's that simple to add any tool you want to in MicroStation to your context menu if you want to you could also I'm gonna take this one and delete it oh, go to selected and hit delete you can add entire toolboxes to it so for example you may want to add sp specific tools like for example drop if I drag and drop drop sounds funny but there it is if I want to add my dimension tools I can drag dimension tools over here drag it onto my DG and live and it appears you can add any tools that you want to or toolboxes in this case that you want to so for example hatch we'll drag another one over just for the sake of demonstration so I've got these three toolboxes expanded they have all the tools there If I go back to my drawing area I right click there's my tools boxes and my tools displayed underneath so that's how we at customize MicroStation again it's pretty simple everything's easy once you know how to do it if I close my customized dialog box if I do a file close in MicroStation if I come back out here interface my tools I can now go to any other workspace environment I can choose general I can go to civil open up any other DGN file oops what I did not do was change my tools my def interface to my tools now when I open up MicroStation using that interface you can see there's my tools as my task if I right click there's my customization to my context menu so on the file open dialog box you just need to remember to choose like I didn't the correct interface if you choose default it'll go back to default if you choose my tools you could choose that now you could create as many interfaces as you want to uh, so you may have different specific tasks or tools that you like to see so you could do that so I hope this is helpful to you and I wish you the best in customizing MicroStation make it your own enjoy